So we'll be continuing straight on from our last video. Uh, in the previous videos, we've actually already found the effective lengths in the x direction. We know what the effective length in the y direction is, and we found the section capacity. Now we need to find the alpha c uh, in order to determine our design member capacity. Now to find alpha c, we we'll start off with the member slenderness uh, in both directions. So starting with column A, we're going to look at the member slenderness in the x direction. Um, the effective length in the x direction is 3.7 meters. Remember to convert it to millimeters. And when we put it into this equation, it should get you 30.9. We'll do the same thing for our slenderness in the y direction. Uh, remember that our effective length in the y direction is 4 meters because of our member level bracings for out of plane buckling. And this should get you 111. Okay, so we have the y direction and the x direction. We want to find the maximum when we're trying to only determine the critical um, mem member capacity. So that's the maximum of 30.9, 111. 111 is higher, so y axis buckling will govern. Govern. Okay, so we'll only be looking at y-axis buckling in order to determine our design member capacity. So before we find alpha C, we only need one other variable, and that is alpha B. And we're going to use six, table 6.3.